welcome back to Talks Chrome. We got Joe. We got Dallas. We got Sean. Oh. We got a box of 2020 Tops Triple Threads. But before we get into it, we got to ask you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an episode of Talks Chrome. Oh, What's up, dudes? Man. How's it going? Uh, I'm doing good. I just got off my uh, gigglebros.com Zoom call, <laughs> and I'm excited to be here. Excited. We, um, I'm ready yeah. to Talks Chrome. How, did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? Yes. Uh, yeah, I had about 40 to 50 of my closest uh, friends come <laughs> over, and we all licked each other's faces. It was super good. My wife's son and I sat 20 feet apart from each other outside, and uh, <laughs> each brought our own meals. Joe, I did notice from your social media that you had brisket instead of turkey, which I thought was a pro move. I want to I want to mention yeah. that. You know, we got we were like Thanksgiving canceled. Why would I make turkey? I don't like it. Let's do our own thing. So I made brisket and I made a cookie cake, and we had stuffing and cranberries. The only traditional things we had. Nice. It was awesome. I had that same vibe. I was like, turkey's gross. It only exists to feed forty people. This is the year where we don't have to make it, and I still made turkey. I don't. It just it like <laughs> happened. It was like I was I was in, in control of my own body. I was just like cooking turkey. I will tell you, Sean, I, I still speak highly of your uh, uh, blue cheese gravy oh, uh, thanks, buffalo man. sauce infused turkey that you cooked one year. I made that. I made a buffalo turkey one year when I was tired of turkey, and I it was great. It was really good. I'll just say that. And I did not write down whatever I did. And then the, the years <laughs> after I tried to recreate it, it was hot garbage. It never, it never <laughs> worked. It was so, so good. It was so good. Well, yeah. So thanks for watching the show. I do want to address, uh, for those of you who watched the, the Bowman Draft First Edition video we did, we did get some uh, constructive criticism from some people. I don't know if you noticed, there's a couple of thumbs downs on that video. And uh, at first, you know, my feelings were a little hurt. We were, um, you know, I was a little reactionary. Um, but then I kind of thought, I, I decided to take some time and reflect. And I thought, you know what? Maybe these guys are right. Maybe we are kind of not taking this seriously enough. Maybe what we should do is focus on the cards. You know, focus on this being a little bit more serious. Move through the material quicker. And so, you know, I think that's what I want to do. I don't want to make it too silly. Yeah. I want to keep... Oh my God! It's Bruce Bochy's head. <laughs> Bruce Bochy, what are you doing? You know, it all started with me uh, when I had this uh, black lab named Jesse. And Jesse had to be walked. She needed to exercise. In fact, Kim would tell me, you need to go walk Jesse. And uh... Bruce, Bruce Bochy, didn't you hear the thing I just talked about us trying to keep it serious? It, you're not helping at all. Thanks, Joe. All right. Well. Oh my God, dude. It, it appears uh, it, it might be harder to to take this serious as as I had hoped. But we'll yeah. do our best. If folks you can't take it seriously, we're screwed. That's By the not way, your fault. We're not gonna take it seriously at all. We're gonna have fun and open baseball cards. That's what we're here to do. We're here to open yeah. top triple threads. Okay. Is Bochi in the top triple thread? So I was trying to figure out how to explain this. By the way, th for those of you watching who don't understand, I have started collecting again this year. I know a little bit about what's going on. Dallas and Joe, maybe not as much. So I'm kind of here to tell them what I know, maybe share with you guys what I know. Most of you probably know more than I do, but we're going to open cards. And tonight we're going to open up this set is, um, so, okay. So there's like tops main stage. I was thinking of that's like series one, series two update Chrome. And then you've got like all the side stage material. So this is one of those. You have like current players, retired players, autographs, relics. It's kind of more, you know, it's not like the one of their main releases, but a lot of people love this one. There's a lot of kind of cool one of a kind things you can find in these. Uh, it's only, I think, 14 cards in a box. There's two little mini boxes. It, we might find something awesome. We might find nothing. So that's what this is. <laughs> I'm not excited. I, I, this came yeah. out a few months ago. I bought it. And then right around that time, Dallas and I started talking about doing the show. 
So it's like I'm gonna hold mm. off on opening it and wait and do it on camera with my friends. So that's you what know who else do. is excited? No, I'm, I'm waiting. Tim Raines. Tim, Tim Raines. Raines. <laughs> Tim Raines is very excited. Tim Raines might be in this box. I don't know. So let's open it up. Like physically? Aaron judges. <laughs> Tim Raines. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yes, sir. Uh, cutting right through the Mike Trout rookie. So, so violent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching. Apologized if uh, you didn't love the uh, Bowman draft video, but I thought it was great because we found Torque. That's what we were trying to accomplish. We hunted yeah. Torque and we found him. Yeah, it was successful. So look, two boxes, two little ones. More Aaron Judge. Mm. Oh, we got two Aaron Judges. That's good. That's a good All start. Right. So he's which kinda, one do you think is going to be better? He's chastity this, belt. This one? This one? Did you say chastity belt? Yeah, it looks like he's wearing a chastity belt. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible design. <laughs> they, really centered, they really centered that T. Really yeah, didn't they? they? To put it. There's, there's the <laughs> odds on the back of here. I wonder what the odds are of actually getting a piece of Aaron Judge's chastity belt. Hey, uh, hey uh, Sean, it's not all rise, am I right? All <laughs> rise. <laughs> Easy the, there. The giggle boys strike again. Uh, all right, here's what I know. I haven't opened any of this, but here's what I know. Um, there's a hundred cards in the like base set. So like I said, it's going to be current superstars, retired players, make up the base and then for the autographs for the relics there's like a thousand different cards it's all over the place i i looked at the checklist which has like lists all the cards the first two pages of the base cards the 100 cards then there's 46 other pages with all kinds of different things you can get i saw a guy um it was like 10 autographs on one book card that was like put together so that's the mm, kind of wacky awesome. stuff that could be in here or it could be something not as exciting, and we'll find out. Man, you get it. I love this. Up. Yeah, this package is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It's Russian nesting doll happening here. <laughs> there's one baseball card inside of this. There's this is wrapped a, in plastic. There's a blown up wrapped balloon. In is <laughs> Natasha Leone inside this? Let's see if I can do this without spoiling it. All right, now Sean's replacing the pack with a different pack. <laughs> <laughs> Never pulled off camera. All right, so... Awesome. Uh, we just cool. see a bunch of poker chips fly up. So I've watched enough of these to know that the two parallels... Okay, so this is like a base card right here, Garrett Cole. Pretty cool looking card. And then you it get is. two parallels, which means they're colored and they're numbered. And I'm going to pull those and show those first because the two autograph, the autograph and the relic are on the bottom. Okay. So we've got an Eloy, which is a pretty cool purple card. That's pretty cool. Numbered to 299. 243 mm. out of 299. Nothing funny about that. This is Beautiful. pretty sick. Shane Bieber, 86 Ooh, I, out of 99. I love Bieber. There you go, Joe. Um, so babes. look, so, so then this would be the, um, this is the base card, not numbered. Who knows how many of these they printed, but like I said, those other ones are, there's, you know, there's some that are 99, 299. There's probably, you know, up to 50. So, so there's, those were the good cards in this pack or is there still a good card potential to be revealed? The two big cards we haven't gotten to yet. Technically the autograph and, and the rel relic would be the big ones. Although, I mean, if you okay. hit like a. Let's say you hit a Mike Trout that's like out of 10 or something. I mean, that could be worth more than a, you know, no name autograph or a relic, right? Yeah. That's a good I card. I feel like out of 99, it's pretty solid. That's pretty good. Yeah, especially for a Shane Bieber. Um, so, like, for instance, here's a good card. It's a Gavin Lux rookie card. Oh. So these are really cool. They're, they're, you can see they're thicker than Whoa. a normal baseball card there's there's actually a baseball card inside of this baseball card <laughs> wait wait we're gonna get to another break where you, you might be more right than you know yes i love it okay so that's a pretty you good the puzzles i wish this had puzzles <laughs> you remember getting the puzzles when you were a kid oh, like, yeah puzzles? yeah yeah you solve the puzzle you get a better card and you'd always have just one corner of a puzzle and you'd never get the rest so we got a, a francisco lindor okay so here we go this is... How am I going to do this without spoiling it? Um, 
Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Okay, we have a... Dun, 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 dun. It's a relic of Luke Voigt. Oh. <laughs> pinstripe. Relic? So what's cool, what though, makes... this is out of... I said out of 18? 12 out of 18. Where are you? Sorry, I can't see that. Where are you seeing that? Yeah, it's tough to see. You see it right there? Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. I, I think that's 18. Is that a piece yep. of his jersey? It's a piece of his jersey. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait. Hold uh -oh. on. Sorry. Is Somebody's timer's recording? going off. There we go. It's back. Uh -oh. Do you want to know what that timer's for? I have to uh, set the alarm to remind myself to move our elf on the shelf. So I apologize. Uh -oh. to um, no, that's okay. I, I thought it was a reminder for the uh, Yankees to send Luke Voigt down. <laughs> <laughs> no, Luke Voigt's good. I like Luke Voigt. Sure. This, that's a pretty sure. cool card. To be out of 18, there's probably a Yankees fan who will give me a dollar for this. I guarantee it. It's got the pinstripe. All right, let's see what our autograph, though, is. This is what we're here for. I don't know if it's going to be this way. Oh, this Luke cool. Voigt. This is cool. Oh. Here we go. Okay, I see an autograph. Keston Hayura. Yeah. Ooh. Man. That is so sick. Oh, dude. That is a one of one. Whoa. Oh, that is there you go. gnarly. We got to throw dude, flames on. on that. I got to get, get a pick of this. Dude. <laughs> as you, as Sean, and I don't know if Dallas, I think Dallas, you know this too. The, the captain of my softball team, his son grew up playing with Keston Hayura. Really? He's always talking about Keston. I'm going to be honest. I thought that the writing underneath the autograph said the Rat King for some reason. And I was, <laughs> and I was really excited that that was his nickname. So, I didn't know that. Rat King to the Bigs, dude. Rat King to the Bigs. <laughs> this, this, is, this is insane. So I literally, one of the reasons I wanted to start the show was if I ever hit like a one of one, I wanted it to be on camera. And dude, yeah. that's, that is such a cool card. I like Keston. I've, I've kind of followed him since he was in the, coming up out of the minors, just like Joe. Joe beat me to him in our fantasy baseball league. But man. I, had, I mean, I, I, I made a promise to the captain of my softball team that I would draft him. It was a must-have. That is he such a dope me. card. So you have the the lettering is, is die cut, and then there's a part of his, a, you know, I think it's like a patch underneath it. Woo! That's awesome. Man. Okay, so that's a pretty sick. Wait, can... What happened? All right. Can you get the patch out if you? Can you... <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, Dallas. So maybe go move the elf on the shelf and just leave that card there. And, uh... Yeah, the <laughs> elf took it. Quite... The elf took it. All right, <laughs> let's get into. Man, it'll be it'll be hard to beat that one. But uh, let's see. We have one more mini box. We can in post. We can flip the boxes. We'll just make sure to really talk like we haven't seen that Kesson Hyra card that yet. Is so I know I I, I should have opened with uh, the other box. Oh well. Hey Sean. Hey. Yeah. What happened? What's, what's the what's the elf on the shelf's name? You're gonna like it. You want to know what it is? I, I asked. Yeah. Spud. Spud. <laughs> oh no, not Spud. Yeah, you're, Spud. you're ragging on my oh, dad. Spud. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't big, Spud, big did fans you? of uh, the the uh, the movie Back to the Beach. All right, yeah. here we go. Spud plays a Spud plays right. a quick but pivotal role. I think we're gonna get a one out of zero this time. So autograph card. There's. It's sad that every time you open that box, I hope it's Pop Tarts. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best Pop Tart, Dallas? Tell me what it is. Uh, it's you know what strawberry. I go with nope. strawberry. Yeah. It's cinnamon sugar signed by Aaron Judge. That's. The best <laughs> <part>. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. It's a, Luke Voigt relic pop tart. <laughs> All right, that's, here we a go. Piece, that's a piece of Luke Voigt's pop tart. It's a piece of Bartolo Colon's <laughs> pop tart in the card. <laughs> uh, what if you? What if for Bartolo Colon you just got a notch of his belt? He was <laughs> I thought you were saying you just got a nacho. Like, you got a nacho. Crazy. That was it. All right, got a, we got some cheese. Ricky card for Aristides Aquino. Ah, right. Aquino. I still like him. I think people kind of cool off on him, but I'm still a fan. I, I like him a lot. Oh, sweet. He's hitting all the rookies. we got Jordan Alvarez, also another guy I like. Oh, dude. Michael. I'm having a there good time. Is. I'm having Michael a good Trout. time. Michael Trout. Albert um, Pujols. See, see everybody who thought we were being obnoxious, you can get a Mike Trout. <laughs> 
Dude, we got Chipper Jones out of 299. That's 179. That's a nice okay. card. We've got Bryce Harper to 75. Yeah. It's a clown card, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Okay, so that's Mike Trout, and we'll use Mike Trout. Let me flip these over. All right, so we have for our relic, it is our jersey. Sean Murphy. Oh, so, kind of a new pick. I like that that they took a piece of that jersey, which has no cut. Like they could have got like the road <laughs> jersey and had a little green, a little there. green in it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, part of the elephant or something. I mean, yeah. it's still cool. It's a, it's a it's one of his rookie cards. So if you're gonna have a Sean Murphy rookie to have a piece of his jersey, have it be numbered out of thirty six. Look pretty good. That's pretty. Dumb. I will say. Uh, I will say. I have a lot of hope in, in for Sean Murphy. I think he actually could be pretty good. So I do like Sean Murphy. I, you know, the A's are I kind of too. my like my AL team, so it's not too bad. Yeah. No, he's a grinder, kind of like Tim Raines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's check out our auto. This is our last card for this box of 2020 tops triple threads, and it is Shed Long. Ooh. Shed. So maybe cool. not a super exciting card, but Shed Long is like one of the best names in baseball, right? I mean, Shed yeah. Long. It's. I was. Uh, I'll be honest, uh, Sean. I thought you made that name up until you showed us the card. No. Yeah. No. No. I've no, no. Shed Short. Shed Short. Is that a joke? We, are we not supposed to make jokes about the names? Uh, we can Shed do whatever long. we Shed want. Short. We can do whatever we That's want. That's true. Um, That's true. I mean, overall, to hit a one of one, have it be a Keston. You know, to get a Mike Trout, to get um, a Jordan, to get a uh, Kino, a bunch of rookies. We got the Gavin Lux. You know, it was awesome. I like, that's a good. That's a good pull. Yeah, Keston's the highlight here. Center, center Keston a little Keston's bit more. Keston's the best one. Let's move some of these guys out of the way. Yeah, why don't you, why don't you take Joe's square out and just put Keston? Yeah, get rid of me. Make me Keston. <laughs> <laughs> you think Keston will come on the show now? I think that's what I he think, has to I do. I think if I hit the one of one, he has to. I think yeah. Shed Long will come on the show. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was our, our, our little rip of uh, 2020 Triple Threads. Let us know what your favorite card was. If it wasn't the Keston, please let me know why. <clears throat> um, we're gonna get a comment from Shed Long. <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to real quick. Um, Heard you guys are talking about me. <laughs> we we had some negative feedback uh, about the show, and I real quick I just want to say, um, you know, uh, when I wanted to do the show, I was like, it would have been easy for me to. What, what's what's funny? <laughs> just excited, so excited just waiting, for where this is going. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it nice. Um, it would have been really easy for me to just do this with just me and my hands, but I didn't want to do that. There's already a thousand other shows like that. Um, I wanted to involve my friends. I wanted to do something different. And so mm. I know that might not be everyone's thing. Uh, it might take some time to get used to, but you know, um, the whole point of this is to have fun. I think that there are some people who are not having fun <laughs> collecting cards, which is really <laughs> funny to me. Um, Beyond that, I think there's a lot of people who just like trashing other things that people work really hard on. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. want to be a part of that. I actually was thinking about <laughs> every show. I want to promote something uh, that someone else has done with cards or kind of in baseball. And so today I want to tell you guys, if you haven't seen it, and I don't think Dallas and Joe have, is to go check out my favorite card channel, which is Matt Strom's Stadium Pulls. Uh, oh, Matt, yeah, uh -huh. Matt Strom is the pitcher for the San Diego Padres. Uh, he does card breaks, and during the regular season, he did them in stadiums. So, like, wherever they were, he would go up to, like, the top deck and open up cards, and you'd have, like, the view of the San Francisco Bay if he was playing the Giants. Um, what, awesome. I, what I love about it is he's as excited about it uh, and is, as nervous as I am doing shows, but he gets just as excited hitting a big card uh, as as I would or anyone who likes collecting cards, even though he's a major leaguer, he's having fun. I think that's the whole point behind this. Uh, I think if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. So I'm going to leave a, um, wanna... if I can figure it out, I'm going to put it somewhere here on the video. You can click to it. And if I can't, I'll just put a link down to Matt's channel. But you got to check can it I, out. Wanna... I, I spun, can, I, spun. can I add on to that real quick? Yeah. I'll just say that. Uh oh, oh, no. No, we're it good. We're not... good. Spud. Like, obviously, you know, we're just trying to have fun, but we are, you can vote in the comments for which one of us you'd like to get rid of, and we will honor <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can, uh, can I t- can I tack on to that? Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Actually, it's just about Matt Strom. Yeah. I did last year. I did a, a roast of the Padres uh, to the Padres, and uh, Matt Strom was in the front row, and I made him stand up, and I asked everybody why Eric Roberts from Best of the Best was here. <laughs> And uh, you know how many people got that joke? Zero. One person. You know who laughed the hardest? Was this is Matt, a true story. Was it Matt Strom? Had no idea who I was talking about. Rod Barajas thought that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Rod Barajas was the only is one. probably old, old enough guy, right, yeah. to know that? Only Boom. one old enough. Only one old enough to know. It was great. It was great. That's great. No. Um, you, you go Matt Strom and Eric Roberts some best of the best. You're going to get a real good kick out of that. Yeah, you can vote us off the show, and eventually it'll just be Keston hosting the show, the one on one card. Keston, Keston and Shedlon. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. Go check out Matt's video, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Leave a like, subscribe, let us know what you thought of the Keston. Good night. Tim Rings, Fox Chrome.